Massive news here. Quinn Ewers goes down with an AC joint sprain. Happened during the Houston game. Now he's going to be out for a few weeks. It is not season ending, but when we talk about a few weeks here, we're looking at BYU, Kansas State, and possibly TCU. Again, BYU shouldn't be a problem. It's at Texas. Kansas State, though, that's going to be a dicey one. A team that obviously won the Big 12 championship last year has had a couple of bad losses this year, but has also looked good at times as well, too. So that game is going to be dicey, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Right now, with Quinn Ewers going down, that means Malik Murphy is going to get the ball. He's got to step up as QB1. While Golden Boy Arch Manning sits in QB number two now, my question for all of you, though, is there going to be Arch Manning chance over the next few weeks, or is Malik Murphy going to make a seamless transition and ball the hell out and be the guy? And honestly, I have a feeling he's going to come in, and they might have to have a conversation once Quinn Ewers go back. It's like, hey, did we just let Malik run this damn engine? Because this thing has been running flawlessly since he left. Could we see a Drew Bledsoe, Tom Brady type of situation here? There was a lot of hype for Malik Murphy going going into the season that he could possibly be QB1 and possibly transferring out of Texas because of how much talent that he has and the ability he has to make just that offense tick. Now, obviously here he earned that second spot, rightfully so, and Quinn Ewers has done an exceptional job except, you know, losing to Oklahoma, broke my heart on that one and looked a little rough last year, uh, obviously against Houston, who knows when that injury happened, that could be possibly uh, due to part of that, but Texas is still has a great opportunity to win the Big 12 championship and find themselves in the final four bid. So going to be a, a huge uh, thing to watch out for in the next coming weeks with Malik Murphy stepping in. But I want to hear from you guys. Let me know down in the comments. Are we going to get Arch Manning champs? Or is there going to be a Drew Bledsoe, Tom Brady situation come two to three weeks? And they're going to look, I know this is your job, Quinn, and I want to give it to you. But Malik's turned this bad boy around more than we, than we thought he could and has really got this thing running. I don't believe so. I think Sarkeesian is all in on Quinn Ewers, and I think if he comes back and he's healthy, he's going to get the job. It is going to be interesting to tell. And will Texas be able to hold on for these next three weeks against Kansas State and TCU? I believe that's probably how long he's going to be out, if I had to guess, two to three weeks. All we got right now is a couple of weeks, not season ending, uh, ending thankfully. Uh, but if, if Malik looks really good, you could probably see Quinn Ewers set out an extra week or two, but he obviously is the more poised quarterback back there. I expect him to get his job back, but it should be interesting. It's going to be a fun one. Again, let me know down in the comments. Do we get the arch chance in the next week or two, or is Malik going to get it done? Could be a big shakeup here for the Big 12. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.